Several results are possible from the HSG or hysterosalpingram test. We can see from the test that the fallopian tubes are both open. It is possible that one tube is open and the other is closed. We can test to tell if the fallopian tube is closed at the top, which has a different meaning than if it's closed at the bottom and fills with fluid and swells. In addition, we can get some information about the shape of the uterus and whether or not there might be something within the uterine cavity that might be affecting implantation of the embryo. In terms of fallopian tube patency or whether or not the tubes are open, when the dye flows through the tubes, the tubes will have an opening at the end. However, it is possible that the fingers of the tube may not be completely normal and yet the fallopian tube appears to be open. So if there's a small opening, but the, tube, the fingers of the tube are not healthy, we may have what's called a false negative or false positive result, with that meaning that we are getting a result that we think one answer, so we think that the, the, the test is normal when the test is not normal. We can also have a test show us that the tube appears to be blocked when in fact there, the tube may be open, but there might be scar tissue around the end of the tube. In addition, a blockage at the top of the tube may be and is often that there is a true blockage, but in about 20% of the time, the top of the tube might be in spasm. The muscle around the tube might be in spasm from the dye and the uh, uterine cramping or um, contraction. And so it might appear that the tube is blocked when in fact it is really open. This is a difficulty because we want every test to be 100%, but all screening tests have false positives and false negatives. Similarly, there could be an air bubble or a mu mucus or a blood clot within the uterine cavity that would make it appear that there could be an abnormality when in fact uh, there is not, uh, or the dye because of the fact that the uterus is three-dimensional and the dye test is two-dimensional might surround a polyp and so that a polyp or some other uh, defect within the uterine cavity might not be picked up. Nevertheless, the hysterosalpingram is an important screening test in helping us understand reasons or potential reasons for infertility.